So Philip, what about indexing spark plugs? Is it a lost art? Should we start doing this again? Or is this an additive service we can have for our customers? I appreciate you asking me. At this point, uh, the term indexing spark plugs, it has now been turned into, are you talking down to spark plugs on high ignitability engine designs? Because here's the thought process with that. Index is, in, is indexing to the whole racing world. That's a whole different conversation. But now uh, applying manufacturer specific replacement procedures with spark plugs, instead of them using the term indexing for certain applications, they are just simply saying, we want you to talk down the spark plugs to this torque specification. And the reason why is because they want that the opening of the spark plug of the ground electrode to the center electrode to be within a 90 degree angle of the GDI injector and the intake valves. So back in my day, we were basically angling it towards the intake valve, the open part of the electrodes. Yeah. Are they doing something different with the different electrode designs? Uh, when it comes to different electrode designs, they just have a different range of high accountability. Uh, whether it's using multiple ground electrode tip configurations along with a fine wire, high ignitability, iridium or platinum, or even ruthenium center electrode. So yes, they are. So if you see it as combining the various ground electrode tip configuration to the um, metal, precious metal type, which makes the high ignitability spark plug applicable to the high ignitability engine, such as a GDI injector, multiple valves, and being able to torque the spark plug down to the right specification. So that opening where the center electrode and the ground electrode is, is within that 90 degree window of where the manufacturer needs it to be. So torquing, does that influence how the plug transfers heat between itself and the head? Well, that's if you don't add anti-seize. So <laughs> we wanna make sure we're crystal clear on that on our spark plugs. You don't want to put anti-seize. It already has a trivalent coating on that. So if you add anti-seize to it, it actually could cause you to over talk to spark plugs. So we want to kind of make that crystal clear. No anti-seize on NGK spark plugs because you would over talk them. And that's the only aspect you need to be concerned about. So the trivalent coating basically creates a nice surface that will not corrode. Mm -hmm and the technician doesn't have to worry about a C-spark plug later on. Correct, correct. And then there's different variations of high accountability spark plugs, like for instance, on our ruthenium HX line, it, uh, it comes as a DFE, you know, so you have a, a fine wire coming off the ground electrode and a fine wire off of the center electrode. And this can actually uh, be more durable than a platinum or a ruthenium because of the the type of tip configuration and the precious metal being utilized. It's, uh, it's a pretty good spark plug for 25 different um, uh, part numbers covering over 90% of the VIO for them. I think it's pretty cool to make sure you take advantage of this type of uh, technology. So how does a technician know when and how to index the plug for a certain application or even the torque specs? Well, follow the torque specs. Uh, not all manufacturers are saying the same thing. Follow the talk specifications and they'll always be in that safe zone. Don't be dependent on looking for the term indexing the swap plug correctly. Be more uh, aware of what is the talk spec and am I following it? Okay. Because m uh, most of these manufacturers are starting to transition to being dependent on the spark plug being installed correctly and being talked down so that they could be within that 90 degree window of where they would like it to be. And what happens if I don't, if I use too much torque? Well, the jury is out on that one. <laughs> then as we know, if someone screws up a piece of a car uh, system and it's like a needle in a haystack, you could have so many different type of problems that occur and it may lead back to as simply as not having the tip configuration within the right 90 degree window. Thank you, Philip. That's great information for the shop squad mm -hmm. to know about late model spark plugs. You got it.